shaking of the steering wheel, we think it's something to do with the prop. So now I'm going to take off. Hear that? It's like a shaking. Whenever we take off the thing, we think it's something to do with the prop. Well, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your prop. Uh, basically what we have is a damaged prop here and it's causing the steering wheel to shake when you accelerate. Especially if the steering wheel is not perfectly in the center if it's to the right or the left. Also when I go at high speeds the steering wheel veers to one side. Um, and It's very hard to see but a couple damaged marks right here on the end of the prop um, is just throwing it off balance. So we have is a new prop. Um, basically we're going to put in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that this is loose. There's a carter pin I've already taken out and I'm just making sure this is a bit loose. Now if this doesn't come off uh, just by hand like that, what you're going to do is you're going to 2x4 and wedge it between the props so it doesn't spin this. Now that that's done, we're going to go the prop, twist this out, get it centered here, okay, and then we're going to tighten this up very slowly, just make sure that we're centered in the beam, and it might be a bit of a violent pop. Probably a second set of pair of hands. Oh, I need a second set of hands to hold it. So I need a second set of hands here to, to hold the prop. Um, but basically, it's popped off now, as you can see. It's got loose here. And um, just one person holding the prop, second one going behind. Now I need to give a couple taps to this piece right here just to, uh, to get it to pop. And that was pretty much what did the, did the trick. Tightened it up. And then um, give a couple taps on the back of, not your prop, but on this piece right here. And now, what we can do is we can take this Together. off. So make sure you don't lose that in the water. Now, if you didn't have a lift like this, you'd have to take the boat out of the water and put that on your trailer and do it like that. Now, when you take this out, be careful. Our keys on top. You want your key on top. I hear your slot. And I'll get the key. See, this is your key right here. I'm going to make sure you don't lose that. And you get this off here. You can inspect. Everything uh, looks good to, to you. Okay, so we've got the key back now into position. Just using the original key, there's no damage to it. When you put your prop back on, you make sure it's facing the right way. The size and everything should be facing towards you. Okay, so we want to make sure that this key slot is properly placed in the top. Slide that in. slowly make sure it's guiding right on that key slot there she goes all right looks good twist it make sure the whole thing twists she goes okay now we're gonna go get I got it nut oh no not the nut the prop Use the original nuts fine. So 
no damage to it. I think this went off. Huh? Let's go black. Turns on here. So we can put the cutter pin on now. We need to bend it in like flat. Tighten up the. Not here. And let a second person hold it. Now, we don't need to go over tighten with this, but we do want it to be snug. So, we want to keep that in mind because as uh, time goes on, this prop will self tighten. the key. Exposed before? Yep, yeah, that was that's nice and tight right there. So you can see the tight. 